hello my lovely people in today's video we are going to look at how to resolve this error problem usb access is denied first of all let's discuss why you are getting this error and a possible solution to resolve it these are the possible reasons for this error one usb device is corrupted and unreadable two USB file system is corrupted. 3. Permission to access the USB device is limited. 4. USB device have restricted read or write permissions. 5. There is weak connection between your USB device and your computer. 6. Your USB port is faulty. 7. Your USB drive was ejected improperly. These are the common reasons for this error. Now let's look at how to fix this error with different approaches. Check whether your USB ports are working properly by connecting another USB device. If it works fine with another storage device, then move on to the next step. 2. Add everyone group to gain access to USB device. As you can see, I am unable to open the drive. To do this, right click on the affected drive and click on properties. Now click on security. Then advanced settings. Click on this change. Then advanced. Click on Find Now. Then search for Everyone Group. And click OK. Click on OK again. Now, tick this option. Replace owner on subcontainers and objects and click on apply click yes to proceed then ok click yes on this everyone group and edit please ensure type is allowed And you have to take some full control, modify, and the rest as you can see here. After click OK. Again, click OK. Now you can see your drive is OK now. 3. Change your USB drive letter. Sometimes USB drive letters may interfere with removable storage devices. So reassigning a new drive letter can sometimes solve the problem. To do this, press on Windows key and type diskmgmt.msc and press enter. Here, locate the affected drive. Then right click on it. And click change drive letter and parts click change and click on drop down arrow to choose any drive letter of your choice after click ok and yes now go to my computer and check if the drive letter is actually changed Four, change group policy. This local group policy settings can grant access and also place restriction on your USB device. So please check these settings by pressing the Windows key and type jpedit.msc and press enter. Go to administrative templates and click on the arrow to expand this folder. Click on the arrow again on system.
Now scroll down and click Removable Storage Access. Now we are going to right click and edit these three settings. Let's start with Removable Disk Denied Read Access. Right click and click on Edit. Select Not Configured. After press OK. Let's do the same for Removable Denied Write Access. Right click on it and click Edit. Change these settings to Not Configured and click on Apply. Then OK. Now Removable Storage Classes Deny All Access. Right click and click on Edit. And select Not Configured and click on OK. 5. Reinstall your USB drivers. This can happen if your USB drivers is not properly installed. So let's reinstall it. First, right click on this PC and click on Manage. Then click on Device Manager. Then after, Universal Serial Bus Controllers. Select the Intel USB 3.0. Right click on it and click Update Driver. Click on Search Automatically for Drivers. After this, you are done. 6. Error Checking Tool There are times file system error can also be the cause of this error on your USB drive. To check, right click on the drive and go to Properties. Then click on Tools. Then click on Check. Then scan and repair drive. After this operation, check if they solved your problem. If not, please move on to the last step. 7. Format the affected USB drive. This is actually the last resort to recover your drive. Please note that after you format your drive, you lose all available information on the USB drive. So please, do this if you already have a backup of the information somewhere. To do this, right click on the affected drive and select format. Now select quick format, then start to proceed. Click OK if you are sure you don't need the information on the affected USB drive. After this message, your drive should be recovered. That is all for this tutorial. If you have any other solutions apart from these steps that I mentioned earlier, please kindly share it in the comment section below. If you find value for this tutorial, please give a thumbs up and also share to anyone you think might need it. Leave a comment if you have any problems or questions and don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell icon for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and have a great evening.